air signs. I'm going to do Virgo first. Virgo energy, please. So this is bravado, not saying something that you probably should say. Here is creativity in reverse, not creating something that you should create. This is a, this is kind of secrecy. I'm not gonna lie, there's some, there's more secrets. I think you've been uh, examining secrets. That's what I'm seeing here also, because it's laid out in front of me. It's on the table. It's like your cards were on the table. You know what I mean? Like that, that's it. Kiki Palmer's um, Virgo tendencies always comes to mind. Um, not because you're like that with other people. And I think people mistake Virgos in that way. We are like that with ourselves, first and foremost. So if you want to keep reiterating to a Virgo that they did something wrong, you're not helping them grow at all. We probably already told ourselves that more times than you could ever remind us okay that's we're very severe okay very like on a scale from one to ten virgos are like literally the epitome of severe we are just intense and it doesn't mean that we're always going to tell the truth just turn that in the upright i mean the reverse here's a title card there's usually a reason for that. This is card number 41, Bravado, in reverse. This title card came out in the upright. Just seriously, though, it came out in the upright. Um, there's a portion of two truths and a lie that is going on here. That kind of energy. Um, you're not being very loud about some type of title, that either you want to hold, that you do hold, or that you will hold, that you have held before. Before somewhere in the past, I don't know. Right, all by yourself. Um, so this title that's not very loud is a solo journey. Oh my God. And there's Grace. Um. <laughs> So we have devotion, solitude, and grace. So this title card belongs to one person, but it's not really very loud. Um, it is very honest. It's almost compelled to be honest. It's compelling yourself to be honest so that everybody else is also compelled to do the same thing. If you could enchant yourself or if you could enthrall or entice this is not supposed to be in there, but it's the butterfly deck. So I am going to say this little spaceship right there inserted itself right here next to Grace. And the fact that there's this creative new truth or a creative new life that we could all grasp, but that I don't think anybody's honestly ready for, especially not um, the elders. Although I do consider myself aging, I'm not yet an elder. And this is number 10 in reverse, meaning I'm closer to 10 years old than I am to like 90 at this point. So that's unconditional love. I'm talking about mentally, by the way. <laughs> it's unconditional love. It's just like, boom. Okay. That's what grace is, is unconditional love. It's not just a, a grace period because somebody's going through something or because somebody has a certain status or because like, that's not what it is. That is finding somebody's wallet on the street with a whole bunch of money in it, like a whole big wad of money, right? Like the whole worth of that wad of money was substantial. And you were taking the 76 down. You know what I'm saying? Like, this, th that's what this is. It's unconditional love. It's 
uh, still showing up to work for your kids, uh, for yourself, being um, optimistic despite what happens, knowing that you have to show grace, that you have to show unconditional love and devotion to yourself and other people in order to experience that. That's kind of the Virgo Ode Day Virgo, okay? <laughs> That's what it is. This is Scorpio energy, which is death. Scorpion energy represents death energy. Um, there's something about a rising of some type of energy, Virgo. That's what I know for me, myself, and I. I am actually extremely tired right now. However... It has nothing to do with that. I'm actually rejuvenated by doing this video. It's like you, the ain't no stopping sunshine is what I'm saying. I'm seeing, um, I'm not actually seeing this elephant in the reverse today. What I'm seeing is an elephant who has gone through a whole bunch and still takes the time to flip like sparks into the air just as a celebration, not to harm anybody, not to hurt. And it's maybe kind of pyromaniac, but it's the most, fire is probably the most amazing, graceful, peaceful um, discovery that you could find if you were lost in the Serengeti somewhere, cold and alone. The most naked mammal, okay? I mean, this one and the Sphinx cat you know the cats that don't have any kind of hair those ones are probably the most lonely or the most cold <laughs> so finding fire is a real celebration okay this did come out in the reverse but it's only because there's a broken tusk here which is not where we're going okay we're not going back there I found your broken tusk. This is a walrus coming through, a norwal. Oh, they wanted me to say an elephant to a walrus is a norwal to an, you know, a unicorn. I don't know, I'm just here to deliver the message, okay? If you did your SAT, ACT words accurately, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. But anyway, Virgo, that's really beautiful energy. There is a synergy that seems to be occurring for you. Scorpio really wants to show their face today. Deeply, very much so. Um, there's a very deep-seated Scorpio energy, like I said. The Scorpio rising or pushing up from the surface. I'm seeing a plant. Um, I don't know if it's a vegetable, a flower, um, some type of a fruit. I don't know if it's a tree, a bush. But there's something pushing out from the surface. This is very much the, like that moment of sunlight, first moment of sunlight, like blinking into the the sun or the sky, the light of the moon. I don't know, because it's a, you know, black, black egg on a white background kind of.